Hi all, welcome to my channel, GCP Data Engineering. This is an another video on Google BigQuery data loading, right? So in this video, we will see how we can load JSON formatted data into BigQuery, right? And also we will see a concept called nested and repeated fields. That means how we can load nested and repeated data into BigQuery, right? So we'll also see how we can load this nested and repeated data using different options, right? So we will see how we can load JSON file using Google Cloud Console and also how we can load a JSON file using Python API, okay? So before going to the demo, let's try to understand this concept. What is in, what is this nested and repeated, right? Right, BigQuery performs better and best, right? When the data is denormalized. Usually if you take traditional relational databases, right? You won't be having this option to store nested and repeated fields into a single column. So nested means it is a record type where a single row represented with multiple data type data or columns. Whereas array is a single data type, right? And it will hold multiple values into it. That is repeated values. Okay. If you see any traditional relational databases, right? There, I think uh, we won't be having this option. BigQuery is offering that option, and also we can implement right relational models in BigQuery. Right? There are popular relational models like Star Schema or Snowflake Schema, and we'll try to take the advantage of denormalized data using this structure or array data types or nested or repeated fields. Right? We'll try to see one example. What is that record data type or nested field, and also repeated. Okay, one by one. If you see this particular uh, JSON file, right? This is a JSON file where values are represented in the form of key value pairs. This is a key and this is a value, right? Product name is a key, and iPhone 6 is a value. Like that, we have multiple key values. And if you observe this particular column, it has multiple other columns nested to into it. For our understanding, let's try to assume this is as a this is an object if you see there are other columns like product type price color and manufacturer here repress they are trying to represent product details right so these are the properties or features of that particular this particular object right so that means nested into product details this concept is called nested okay now this is nested and it's a record type. Okay. Now let's try to go to the another example. What is an array? Array means a single data type and repeated fields. This is a float data type. If you see, we have multiple values repeated of float data type. This is an array. Right? If you see this particular column, right? Again, it is nested, but it is having multiple records into it array of records right so that means this is one record this is second record and third record it is nested and repeated this is repeated that means array okay so this is a JSON. now we will try to load this data into a bigquery table okay so as part of this demo in the first task or first step i am going to load one json file using gcp console create table option in the second task i'm trying to load one more json file using my python api okay let's quickly move to the demo now okay now i'm into my gcp console this is the data set where we are trying to load json data right so json means javascript object notation okay okay let me let us try to examine our gcs bucket we are trying to load data from gcs bucket i have already placed two json files into this bucket one is this and second one is this i'm trying to load this data using gcp console trying to load this data using my python api product details okay and also ipa player start ipa player starts okay this is an example data okay now let me select browse and select that particular file in the if you see this is the file we are trying to 
load. So you can see this file format is auto selected since uh, since it is already JSON file, right? Okay. So this is new line delimited JSON. Let's try to examine this data quickly, right? So this is the data we are trying to load. This is IPL stats data. If you see this JSON file is already right. Uh, it's defined with schema, right? If you see this player name is one column name, right? Team is one column name, age is one column name, performance is one column name. If you see, this is a already represented in key value format. We don't have to again explicitly define schema for it. It's a self-defined schema, right? Okay, so that's why while creating this table, right i don't want to define a schema explicitly instead i will go for auto data okay let me give the table name file name as my table name okay schema is anyway auto detected since json file is already self defined schema you don't have to explicit explicitly define schema again okay let me click on this create table it will create the table immediately okay you can see now this table has been created this is the, these are the details okay this is schema if you click on this down arrow right you can see this particular column has nested columns in it it's an object and these are its features or properties right this is an array right let us try to preview the data now let me expand each of this column right it's a record and repeated that means nested and repeated right now you can see clearly one column has multiple values record type values nested and repeated one column has repeated values this is an array this is a record repeat okay this is how you can load denormalized data or nested are repeated fields into a BigQuery table, right? What are the advantages? Let us try to discuss few points and then we'll move on to the next task of our demo, right? For example, let's say if you take in a traditional relational database a uh, star schema or snowflake schema, right? There you will be defining your relational model, right? In, in the form of fact and dimension table. If you have to store this data, there you need this particular or uh, nested and repeated column value will be transformed into one more dimension table in the case of traditional relational databases but here you have embedded everything into a single column you can avoid that particular dimension table in the case of BigQuery you don't have to create that dimension table instead you can stuff or embed this whole thing into a single column right so this is called a denormalized table right so this is the advantages where you can take the advantage of denormalized data and also relational model okay i hope you understand this concept okay so in the next video or upcoming videos we'll try to examine and see how we can query this nested and repeated data and also we'll see what are the advantages we are getting when you query denormalized data okay yeah next we'll move on to our next next task where we'll try to load json file using our python api okay this is my code where i'm trying to load data into this particular table in this particular data set let us examine that data set first so i have one more table already available in the same data set i'm going to create this product details table this is a json file already available available in my JSS bucket this is the file okay here I have defined my schema okay right again it has right nested field in it it's a record type okay so this is a source data from where we are trying to extract the data it's a JSON file and we have we are configuring load chart and we are triggering that load chart so it's a simple code now we'll try to trigger this code okay 
will try to execute this code let me go to my CLI right let me try to run this code this is the script so this will create a table and also load data into it now you can see this table has been created and it has loaded five rows go to this table refresh so immediately it will hit refresh you can see this is a table which has been created you can see again this is a nested column that has a record data type and repeated details preview just expand this it has one record in it not repeated data okay this is how you can load repeated and nested data so right now bigquery supports loading of this type of data using json and also argo okay so thank you thank you very much we'll we'll meet in the next video